Hey, it's Mia. I'm bringing you a bonus episode of Unhinged, where we recently had Chad Lingefeld from Lockdoc Security on. We have one final picture to go uh, over with you where we could not, for the life of us, remember what a pizza peel is called. So you'll watch us struggle through that and talk about this opening. Uh, Then Chad is going to go through a recent podcast episode um, from the Lockdoc Security Coffee Break podcast. You can check them out every Tuesday, 9 a.m. For videos, you can go to their YouTube or their Facebook page, and then you can subscribe on any of the regular podcast platforms. So check them out, and we hope you enjoy this bonus episode. Okay, so for those who don't know how Unhinged works, um, I will share my screen. It will be a picture of a door or an opening or a lock of some sort. We react, we slam, we knock on the door, throw out any helpful tips or learning opportunities, and then we give it a knocking score, one through 10. One being not too bad and 10 being pretty knocking bad. Um, how does that sound? Should we get started? Let's do it. Are, are you ready, Chad? I'm as prepared as I can be. All right. <laughs> this is a storage door as well. Yeah, yes. Never really thought of exit device for pizza tray storage. What are those? Pizza paddles? Yeah. Pizza paddles, pizza spatulas. What are those? <laughs> called well luckily the door's not being used because it has everything else stacked in front of it as well so why not use it as a storage location Re- don't worry about the uh, exit sign above the door not a big deal yeah, just just don't don't pay attention to that exit sign up there you know uh, in in case of an emergency uh or if your pizza restaurant is burning down don't use this exit just just use another one yeah and grab a drink on the way out. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> or use the Mountain Dew to put the fire out. It's a, it's a whole case of fire extinguishers right there. Does <laughs> Mountain Dew put out fire? Or do you think that like there's some chemicals in there that like I just. <laughs> I think we should test it out. Yeah, there you go. That would be a great video. This door has just totally been abused as many back doors of restaurants are. Um, and they've just kind of taken it to a whole nother level and and stuffed things inside of the door hardware, which is is pretty incredible. I would imagine it's probably there, so when they do open the door, they can slam those uh, pizza, whatever they're called, in in the uh, in the hinges so that the door will stay open. Hey, there you go. <laughs> they use it to, as a door a door stop. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a it's a door prop, and they want to keep it at with the door. So. So I mean, they probably just need a hold open. Yeah. Just a- a little knob up there on that closer. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Is something taped on the front of the closer? It's, yeah. It's probably instructions as to where to put the uh, the handles of the pizza <laughs> the pizza <laughs> shovels. What are those called? Pizza <laughs> spatula? It's not a spatula. What is it? A pizza shovel? I'm sure it's got a technical technical term. I mean, technically, it's a spatula of sorts, but it's it's a. Uh, uh, a pizza shovel, right? It would be a pizza, uh-huh. pizza pike. Uh, <laughs> anyways, that's that's probably not the best place to store your pizza shovel, spatula, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. So you got several several code violations here. Obviously, clear path. Uh, and it, does the does the exit device? It may be they may be jammed in there because the device is loose and falling off the door, and so it's not secure. So they've they there are shims effectively. They're uh, oh, they're pizza shims. That's pizza it. Shims. That's pizza <laughs> so we need a hold, we need a hold open, uh, hold, probably a hold open closer here, um, and then whatever else, because uh, we don't really know what the condition of the door is, but the exit device seems to be uh, a bit under underrated for the the uh use of the door right correct yeah um clear width of the door um we wouldn't want people tripping over anything as they're trying to escape in an emergency Mm -hmm. um yeah you got it okay if you guys gave it a knocking score what would this be seven minimally seven yeah it's bad i would would go with 7.4 i mean like if price is right rules I've seen some really bad blocked exits. I thought this one was just funny because there's pizza shims in it. I think we should take a moment here and let Chad like uh, promote his uh, podcast. Um, yeah, so if if you're interested the in our podcast, we definitely recommend subscribing. We have a brand new episode every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern time that comes out. 
And the the positive of it, as I tell people all the time, is we don't talk about anything locksmith related. It's completely about business ideas, practices, and strategies. Um, and the negative side of it is that we don't talk about locks and door uh, and all that stuff. So uh, it's it's very much I you know I've, I I have become very excited over the years about growing business, putting uh, putting uh, processes in place, developing people. And so, you know, the conversation that we have every week is just surrounding that is uh, learning from other people either in our industry or outside of our industry. And that's one of the big things that I'm a, a proponent of is gathering information from people that are not inside of our industry. So taking it outside of that bubble a little bit, understanding how they're impacting their world, impacting their industries, their businesses, and then taking kind of the best of that information and bringing it over. One of the highlights that I'll give you from a couple of episodes back is uh, it was Ivan and Kathy, they were um, guests on the podcast, and we were talking about communication from a leadership perspective and how it's important when you're in front of a group of people, how you're communicating, the way that you're asking questions, the way that you're leading a conversation. And it really challenged me. So that was a, a, a conversation we had with some guests that were really relevant, and we applied that in our business. And so what we're trying to do is just have a conversation here and set a platform for people to be able to gather some highlights of that and apply it to their own business. One of the things that they talked about in there is a lot of times as leaders, when we get up in front of a group of people, we ask leading questions instead of advancing questions. Um, so uh, when we are trying, when we ask those leading questions, it oftentimes the group of people that we're uh, communicating to will sniff it out as if it is a leading question that we're trying to lead you down a path and then aha, here's your, here's your, the point that I'm trying to make. And their challenge was ask advancing questions. And if you have a point that you're trying to make, make that point up front and then uh, present the information that helps to support that rather than asking a bunch of leading questions to bring people to an aha moment. Um, and so it is, it was big. The, a couple of things that they pointed out was oftentimes whenever we ask the question, do you have any questions or does that make any sense? that it's more of a challenge to people and it's not actually going to bring the questions that we're looking for. We're actually telling people um, or, or we're giving people an opportunity to uh, to admit that they don't understand something. And in a group of uh, people, then you're likely to not get that. Uh, so just that one little example is, has been a vi very valuable um, advancement for our organization. So we're applying that in our team meetings and the way that we communicate minimize and identify when we ask, are there any questions? Because we understand that it's not actually gaining us any traction for where we're trying to go. So, but it was very valuable in just even our own organization. So those types of conversations are what we're trying to house through the, the concept of our podcast and then be able to communicate that out in the business world and impact our customers and impact our industry. I will uh, put a link to that episode um, in the notes below the video. There you go. Love it. Definitely check it out. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, and we'll see you next time.